Fanny Burney loved going to theatre, watching theatre. As I have told you in my last part of uh, the series, in London her home was five minutes walk from uh, two main theatres. She went to theatre all the time. Uh, then there is one more piece of information about her that is she worked for Queen Charlotte as keeper of the robe, the one who was wife of uh, George the Third. So she worked uh, for her, for Queen Charlotte and she used to advise her on what to read, what not to read, why to read. Then uh, let's uh, look again at her personal life. She married at the age of 40. Uh, to a French man, French exile, and she lived in uh, France. In France, she lived uh, on outskirts of Paris with her husband. She had a very uh, good marital life. It was blissful marital life. And uh, if we look at her lifespan, which is uh, very long, she, her first novel was published in Age of Johnson and her last novel in 1814, that was Age of Wordsworth. So her last novel was Wanderer and it was received by Hazlitt, romantic prose writer Hazlitt. Remember in my last uh, videos, I've talked about romantic prose writers like Hazlitt, Lamb, Walter Savage, uh, Lander, then Thomas De Quincey. So this, her last novel was received by Hazlitt the wanderer so uh, by this we can guess that she lived beyond her period she is like savage was connecting link between two periods here fanny bernie was connecting between age of johnson and age of wordsworth uh, the wanderer is a gothic novel uh, and uh, it is about revolutionary politics then uh, she outlived her husband, her son, her siblings and last years of her life she spent preparing memoirs of her father Charles, Dr. Charles Burney and she wrote to glorify him, to you know, uh, create some space for him in society, to create reputation, his reputation and uh, this is how uh, her life, she died in Bath as far as I remember, and uh, that was glorious life of Fanny Burney. Thank you for listening. If you have liked, please do subscribe.